Yes, guys, what's going on? You know who it is, your boy Twix96. We're back again, guys, with some more GM commentaries. Um, we're we're going to look at the stats quickly for the team just to see how our, our team is doing right now in the NHL. Um, as uh, I'll continue talking about what I was saying in the last video. Um, right now, I'm averaging about 17K or 14 or 10. It's between 10 and 15K video views a month now, and uh, it's about 600 video views a day. So, I mean, we're looking pretty good. Jamie Benn's got 23. All right, wait, let's go like this. Uh, how do you sort? Okay, so we're looking pretty good right now. Um, we don't have any, I don't think we have any point per game people pretty much. Um, right quickly, if I get 600 views a day times 30, that's about 18K a month right now I'm averaging. That's about, I'm saying about, it's about, it's probably about 15K a month. But um, between 15 and 18K a month, so... Hitting that 100k mark will be quite easy to get. Um, who's not performing well? So look at this, Galagoski. He is. Oh, he's a defenseman. Stepniak. That's that's terrible point production right there. So if we had to get rid of someone, I'm looking at Stepniak because he's only got six points right now in 40 games. Uh, Jokinen. That's not bad. He's a fourth liner. Um, Gomez has got 15. That's not bad. Let's look at the point production wise. So that's goals, assists. Uh, Eberle's leading the way. So for team scoring overall, Jordan Eberle's leading the way with 31 points right now. And then Vermet, he's playing fantastic. Vermet, 29 points, as well as Louis Erickson, 29. Jamie Ben, um, 23. Uh, and Derek Roy, 18. Oliver Ekman Larson's got 18. And pretty much anyone that's under the mark of Oliver Ekman Larson is tradable bait except for defensemen because I can understand the defenseman situation but I mean besides players like you know Cody Eakin, David Moss, fourth line players, people like Scott Gomez, you see or not UC Okin and Scott Gomez and um and Stepniak are definitely gonna be up for trade guys because we can definitely find someone who can score uh goals over them. Uh looking at goalies right now uh, games played wise, Jack Campbell's played two games, but it shows no statistics. Uh, he let two goals in, so obviously he got pulled after the two, or no, he got put in after two goals, and uh, he's got pretty good save percentage, he's about the same as Kerry Lettinen, only 23 saves, uh, 58 minutes, so he played about uh, a whole game except for two minutes of the game. So, yep. All right, so guys, let's start the month. Let's start the month. All right, so we got some prime comp. Uh, let's look at the actually. Let's look at the conference. All right, so we're in fifth place right now. Um, we're making some progress on the uh, the Chicago Blackhawks and the Ducks and Vancouver. Three teams we want to try to head for. So uh, we face we face two of them right there. Um, and there's another one right there. And there's another one. And uh, this month looks like uh, oh shit All Star game. But I mean this month right here looks like this is a serious month because this could determine what's happening. Heading into the month of uh, February, actually. I mean, if we don't do good this month, we definitely won't be doing anything well in the next upcoming month. So we want to have consistently good months. If we can finish this month 30 and 19 or something like that, I'll be happy. I'll shake all the play players' hands. I'll give them 30 mil piece. And then, you know what? That's a done deal. That's what you got to say. Twix96 hitting you up. Yeah, yeah. And um, that, that was kind of a, a little stupid rap at that. But, um. Facing the, we lost that one. All right, we lost that one. Um, whoa! And then I get a shitload of notifications on my phone when I check it. But we're now here we go. This is the true test. This is where snipers become marksmen and players become. I don't know. <laughs> um, facing San Jose. Oh, San Jose has lost or they have the same record as us pretty much. Actually, no, San Jose has won a lot more over or lost a lot more games in overtime. So a win here would be crucial. Uh, nice win here against them. I mean, they got big Joe Thornton, fucking 40 points already. And uh, just an assist. And we're already 40 games into the season. Getting the Dion W. All right, facing Chicago. This is, once again, another prime competition matchup. These guys are um, about uh, four, about eight points are ahead of us right now, and we got the win. So I mean, that that's just one step closer to moving forward in the playoff race, guys. I want to book a top five. I want to book home ice advantage. 
uh, for the first round at least. That's what my goal is right now. Home ice throughout, and are we facing? We facing the Nashville Predators here, and we lose to the Nashville Predators. We're 24, 18, and two, so we haven't started this month off very well at all, and um, we only got that positive six ratio. Actually, we lost them in overtime, so uh, that's two points or one point at least. That's about another win. So, about theoretically speaking, our record right now is 25 and 18. So we have 50 points right now. Uh, they have about 54. So St. Louis again. When we face these guys right now, this is a crucial win because they're right ahead of us in the standings. We want to move past them, and we're going to lose that one in overtime. So I will take the one point because they're only moving up one more point on us. We can easily get that dub, yeah, guys. And here we go. This is once again another test. We are facing the Anaheim Ducks. Again, another top three contender in our conference. These guys are 33-13-2 as they got Corey Perry and Brian Gauss. He got some sauce. And uh, we got to get the win here, boys. We got to get the win. And we got shut out by them. So, I mean, all right, guys. Looking towards trade deadline, you know what's happening. Stepniak is gone. We're trading him away. Him him and Gomez, we're going to trade away. And uh, we're going to try to pick up someone who can snipe the cheddar. Someone who's got at least 30 goals this season. I want a 30-goal scorer on this team. And we lose to the San Jose Sharks in overtime. Or the shootout, one or the other. So we have been losing quite a few games, guys. And I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now. As we have an Eastern road tripper facing the Winnipeg Jets, the Canadians, and the Ottawa Senators here. Uh, we got to win these games. These are outer conference uh matchups as we get that win against the Winnipeg Jets giving us that 25 19 and 4 record uh, approximately 27 and 19 if you consider the overtime losses into wins um, we're looking we're looking like Eberly hasn't been scoring that many points this month but I'm Montreal is not doing so well either um, they got 19 26 3 record Carl Hagelin, they got Hagelin off of someone, but we got another win against Montreal there, against Montreal Canadiens, so we're facing Ottawa here, Senators, Jason Spezza, 48 points in about four, about 50 games, so he's a point per game player, basically speaking, Craig Anderson hasn't been playing that good, and then there we go, another one point win for us boys, 27-19-4, as we are heading into the end of the month, guys, it's looking like some good hockey action here for the Dallas Stars as we are uh, making some progress in the standings after those uh, soft losses against the shutouts, uh, the shutout losses against the uh, teams that we should be winning to in our own conference. But, I mean, if it has to be Eastern Conference matches, we know we can beat these guys in the playoffs if we head to the Cup Finals. So, I mean, we get getting easy layups, guys. Easy layups. Heading into the All-Star break, so you guys, you know what that means. We're only like a month or two away from the trade deadline. You know what, uh, Stepniak is gone unless he's got at least 20 points by now. 20 points in a month. Yeah, I don't think uh, he's going to be getting those points. But uh, unless we give him a first-line promotion and we put him on that first line, uh, we're not going to stop the simulation for that. But unless we can promote him to the first line and he produces on the first line, back door in that kid, eh? All right. Heading to face the LA Kings at home in Dallas, Texas, as we face the Dallas or the Dallas, as we face the LA Kings. The wow, we are already in 2016, guys. So this is this is huge. This is our fourth year in the NHL. Yeah, it's our fourth year in the NHL. So if we don't do good this season, guys, we have to make the playoffs at least. And we'll have our job. We'll we'll probably hopefully secure a job with the stars. If not, we're gonna go to a team that's probably destroyed and blown up. So I mean, yep. I could have went to the LA Kings, and they're not doing too shabby. Twenty six, twenty one. I mean, a win here would be nice. And we lose to them, unfortunately, as we face nobody to end the month. So let's look at the standings right now. All right, so we dropped two spots. We are currently sitting in. Seventh spot with 58 points, so I mean the race is pretty much all the way through the conference. Not like the East, pretty much the East is pretty much locked in there with the Rangers. Oh, what do we see? The New York Rangers in first place? Yeah, who built that team? Me, easy layup. Big Joe playing good hockey. Kerry Lightning's leading the NHL and wins, that's what I'm talking about. 
All right, let's do the month of Jan or February, sorry, and let's head into the trade deadline on a positive note. There it is. There's a trade deadline, guys. So next video, trade deadline for sure. So we're gonna have a have a good month. I want to be into the top five again. I didn't like the fact that we are now sitting in a seventh spot. That kind of gets me scared because I moved on from. Wow, I moved from the New York Rangers. And they didn't do anything. They didn't, they, watch. Shit. We, we could go to their team at the end of the month and look at their team. New York Rangers will pretty much have every player I have gotten there. They're going to have Richards. They're going to have Gabrick. They're going to have... Who would I get? I, got, I think I got like Matt Molsano. It was P.A. Paranto. Uh, I got Vermada. I mean... They definitely have the same team that I brought there. I know that there were some cap issues there, and I ran the cap pretty close. I got Chara pretty easy. Traded Chara for a good player. And, I mean, nothing much to say, guys. Nothing much to say. We're losing games right now. They just traded a second-round pick in somebody for Nick Lasso from Phoenix. I don't like that trade, personally. I don't know who any of those people are, and they're giving away a pretty good second-round pick. That's kind of a booster to go trade towards another pick. Daniel sedin has got 66 points already in the season. We got a win against them, and we get shut out, so we're on a three-game losing streak. Let's change the lines. Let's put Jack Campbell in. We got to do something here, boys, something. If we lose this stretch of games here, we're going to put Jack in, the Jack Campbell in, and then we're going to put as well, we're going to change the lines up, and we're going to put someone who can score on each line on the line. And then we'll have some good depth. And we win against the Ducks. That's a huge win. That's moving up in the conference for sure. Well, that's a, a point that's going to help us move up in the conference as we face another game at home against the Phoenix Coyotes. I think the Phoenix Coyotes were in eighth spot last time we checked the standings. So we've got to win against them. That's all I'm going to say here because, you know, Dion W, he's going to get them Ws. Come on, we need to win. We need to win. And right after this game in Phoenix, we're going to be heading right to Nashville. Tennis, or this game against Phoenix, we're heading to Nashville. As Kerry Letton is going to get that shutout, guys. And it looks like Nashville's not doing so well. They're 26, 27, and 3. Uh, Marty Erat, 24 assists. Uh, and Eberle's got 28, ass sorry, 28 assists right now. Uh, and we got another shutout. That's back to back shutouts for Kerry Letton in here. So, I mean, for Kerry Letton in. Yes, Kerry Lettinen. That's all I got to say. Two shutouts. If he gets a three-peat, oh, boys. Three-peat, three-peat. And we get shutouts. <laughs> all right. Kerry Lettinen's playing some fantastic hockey right now. Heading into the trade deadline. He's got job secured at least till next, till the off season when we make. We're going to have to make that decision soon. If we're gonna progress, uh, progress with uh, Jack Campbell, or are we gonna just keep Carrie letting in for the rest of this GM commentary? Uh, connect unless we get, unless we keep our job. I mean, what if we get fired? That won't be a real video. As we get a win against St. Louis Blues, the St. Louis Blues. That was a nice win there because they're once again another in, uh, inner conference team. So those wins are gonna be crucial. Heading to the playoffs, uh, this is going to give us better position every win we get in our conference. Uh, even every win we get, it's going to help us with the playoff run as we face the Colorado Avalanche at home. And then we are facing the Canucks at home as well. And they're doing pretty, no, they're doing all right. D'Agostini, he's leading the team with 44 points right now. Uh, D'Agostini, pretty good hockey. 28, 28, 3 as we lose that one. So now we're 31, uh, 31, 5, 25, and 4. So we're not doing bad. We're like 33 and 25 right now, positive 7. Uh, we got to win against the Nucks here. We want to get closer to them in the conference. So we got to get a win against the Nucks here. Um, they got four. They got a lot more games played, and we lose that one again. So we're on a little losing spree by the end of the month. We will know what we're doing heading into the trade deadline, boys. So. We got about a week left. We got back to backs in Anaheim. We got to win both of these, and we're moving closer to them in the division. Gauss has got 47 assists already. Oh my gosh! And Perry's got 30 goals. That's 70 points, 77 points right there. 
And our top guy's got 32 assists. And that's about how many goals the Perry's got. So, we got to win at least one of these two. We got to split the difference. 4 nothing win. That's the kind of hockey I like to see here, boys. 4 nothing W. Moving us closer. We got another shuttle. Kerry Lennon's been a beast in that so far this season. I don't see why there's a point to get rid of him as we lost the second one. And like I said, I want to split the difference, at least get a one for one. So theoretically speaking, we beat them in that to, in that matchup because we scored eight and they scored four. Uh, or sorry, we scored six and they scored four. And that's why the Montreal trade Nathan Ball you as we face the uh, Chicago. Our Chicago. Why do I keep calling the Shark Chicago? Anyways, guys, we got that win against the Sharks. And now we are 33-27-4. This is kind of identical to the situation we had last season. So hopefully uh, we don't have any games left in the month. I don't think so. So hopefully we can be in the top five position right now in the playoff run 2016, 2015, 2016 as we finish the month off against the Columbus Blue Jackets as the Buffalo Sabres trade um, their first round draft pick from Devin Dubinick. So they need a backup goalie right now. I think that's what they're doing it for. They need a backup goalie for um, for good old Ryan Miller if he gets hurt or if or not hurt, but if he gets fatigued up. So let's look at the standings. I want to see this. We are in eighth place right now. I thought we had a pretty solid month. I guess not, guys. 70 points, so it pretty much looks like there's a race from – a race is from – uh, seventh to tenth. That's where the race is right now. Cause I mean, we're falling behind. All those other teams, 85, 84, 85, 84, 84, 82, 81. Those teams, 77. Not really. 77 is kind of just floating there. But um, the Rangers dropped quite a bit. They didn't get that many points this month. Um, Montreal's in last. Shocked. Uh, all right, guys. That's the video, guys. Next video will be trade deadline special, so please make sure to come back and watch the videos. As always, guys, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff down below, guys. And once again, I'll see you later. I'm out.